Hello again, everybody. <laughs> so stupid. This is so stupid already. Um, by the way, 30 years ago today. Oh, damn it. If you work in a There's team, a commercial first. 30 years ago today, this work. happened. Please welcome to the show, Gear Daddies. All right, guys. Yep, oh, there's Martin Zeller walking out. Wait. Don't tell me he's... Oh, yeah, this is ridiculous. Because I have to... You know, because I have to play... We have to play with David Letterman's band. Like, that was the rule. So, I see uh, Randy Broughton there. I don't see the other two gear daddies. I don't even see Nick Ciola there unless he's hiding somewhere. Let's see if I can keep going through the video. Because there was some rule. Oh, it's so fucking stupid. There was some rule that, you know, the uh, the house band. What's, what's that guy's name? Paul Schaefer. Who, by the way, briefly was dating... Um, this guy I knew in high school, or may I don't know if it was dating his sister, no, his cousin, sister or cousin, and the, but the guy I knew later in kind of college, post college, I I was in a band with briefly for like nine months, uh, or was it six months? Called Shellfish, which is not not a band name I was at thrilled with, and we played um. We had one cover. I mean, there were originals. I mean, Eric wrote all the originals. No, I actually wrote one where we kind of co-wrote one of the songs. Some of you out there already know this story. Um, and uh, and then the rhythm. And we were pretty good. And we, we played like two parties that we had, we threw. And that was it. Um, so I did actually play in front of people. Um, and uh, I was the rhythm guitar, guitar player. And... Um, uh, the song that I wrote that some of you might be familiar with or co-wrote, but I I really got the thing going. I, I mostly wrote it. I pretty much wrote it. I wrote the song. <laughs> it's called uh, it's called Hardware Girl. Uh, some of you might be familiar with that. Anyway, this is a, uh, a Walgreens reveal video. But before I do that, I want to mention that... Um, I want to mention what I'm wearing here. Fargo Summer Hockey League, 1981. This is an actual real... Now, I don't think this is the kind of... This wouldn't be something you would uh, wear in a game, would you? Now, it's a summer hockey league, and it's indoors. So, I don't know if this would necessarily be a game wore jersey. I don't think so. I don't think there's a number on the back, right? Like, there's no number on the back there? That's not underwear sticking out. That's a t-shirt. And, um... <clears throat> But uh, this, of course, uh, was given to me for some reason in college. I attended college starting in fall of 83, so it was already two years old. If this truly is from 1981, which I'm sure it is, no one would make that up, and because it was from someone who actually played in the Fargo Summer League, my, my friend John Farber from college. So think about how old this shirt is, and with it's got a little bit of a... Tatter. Now this is a mess here, but that's a whole different. This is this is a this is a private shirt, not a public shirt under here. But it's got a little tatter right here. But other than that, it's like in perfect condition. And it's how old is that now? 80, 81, 81 to twenty one. Are you telling me that's nine? Now I have to do count this all all out because the aughts and stuff, right? Like so ninety one. 2001 this is 30 years the shirt and it's still totally viable why why wouldn't i wear it people and also before i get to the walgreens reveal because this is also kind of related i want to introduce i i eat oatmeal out of this a lot this is my country kitchen remember country kitchen 
And then here's the, it's a Wisconsin Badgers. This is Badger country, people. And um, there's oatmeal in here. See? Mmm. No. Oh, crap. I'm out of coffee and I don't have any beverages. So, and this all ties together because um, John Farber, who of this shirt, has procured use of some sort of a facility near the Wisconsin Dells, which may be a cabin, perhaps, of some sort, to uh, have me and him and A1 Eddie Alch and Morsky, Chris Moore, little college reunion action, um, not the full squad, it's the core squad, I guess. I don't know if I'm going to make it yet. It's like July 6th or something. I'm, I have a uh, myriad issues that may prevent me from going, but um, John thinks that to entice me, he'll schedule in a side trip to Madison because of how much I've always loved Madison, but I haven't been there in a super long time and I wouldn't even know where to go there anymore. I mean, is the Flamingo still there? I remember that place. I remember Bucks, which I think was on the other side of the Capitol. And uh, some of you know these stories. Uh, we used to go in Minnesota in college. We used to go. Chris Moore had a good friend in Madison, went to school in Madison. I had a friend who went to school in Madison who was a year ahead of me. And we would go um, every, we would take a road trip every fall or and spring. And in the fall, we would either go for the Halloween party there, which was insane and I don't really even know that we participated in the Halloween party there like I don't think we wore costumes and walked down State Street or anything like that I don't really even know or the football game go for a Wisconsin football game which not I mean you know well whatever that's a whole different thing I'm not going to apologize for going to football games um that was a you know Mixed feelings on, but 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 Camp Randall. I mean, like, uh, you know, in Wisconsin, football games, the fifth quarter. I mean, it's just so awesome. It's one of the great good things in life. It really is. I assume they still do that. And here's the thing: when you say Wisconsin, you know what you've said. You've said it all. They also have this saying. I wonder if they still have this. Fuck them, Bucky. There you go. I love Wisconsin. So, anyway. Um, I don't know if that's all going to happen for me, but Fargo Summer League. But John was a goalie. And he... Uh, he went to the state tournament in... Uh, I'm pretty sure he went to the state hockey tournament in North Dakota. I mean, he grew up, he started out in St. Louis Park, if I have this correct. And then his family moved to Fargo. And then he came back to the U and was still friends with some, a couple of the St. Louis Park guys. Like, I might, I hope I have this story right, John. Hopefully you're going to watch this. Like Howard Feldman, Feldspar, if some of you people may, may or may not know him who lives in uh, in South Carolina. I don't know if they know he's Jewish there. but um, uh, And we, uh, we, we, we once went and spent a weekend there where he lives, lived and presumably still lives on Defusky Island. <laughs> That's a whole, whole other story. But anyway, he came back down to University of Minnesota. And so then I met him. All of us lived on the same floor. And uh, Howard and Todd Kenyon and, I mean, the whole um, group of us who became known as the Knuckleheads. And that's a whole other story. That's not why I'm here to talk to you today. I'm just explaining the shirt and the, the oatmeal it goes in the microwave. And um, But here's the Walgreens reveal. I got much more I can tell you about all that other stuff. 
Uh, I can't even believe what's going on here. I gotta shave. I need a new. I need a new razor. Okay, so I don't. I already put the stuff away, so I can't really pull it. Out, pull the stuff out of the bag. So I'm gonna show it. But I do have. Yeah, I don't think there's any personal information that someone can. Well, hell. <laughs> Use my debit card all you want out there, people. If you want, this is the receipt for the Walgreens. Oh, it's backwards for you. So there you go. Um, my Walgreens reveal, and um, it was just two items. It was the. Uh, it was a uh, you know one of those carrying cases of uh, Diet Dr Pepper. Um, just for a switch, I, I drink so much Diet Pepsi, and I don't know that I think that that's super bad for you, but I have a feeling it probably does, um, you know, eat away at your inside, your guts, like you might as well be drinking Rust-Oleum or something, I don't know, but that's, you know, someday maybe there'll be a good alternative, uh, and uh, the bubbly water, though, you know, you guys know I drink that. And uh, they didn't have the flavor I wanted. And they haven't for a couple of times now. Because there's a flavor I'm stuck on in particular, so I went, had to go with the lime. It's okay. Um, I did my last grocery order shop, I, I, so because I forgot to get enough of this. I, this. This Walgreens is always the supplemental shop. I got the variety pack. Oh, uh, that's my phone from a... Uh, from an unrecognizable number, <laughs> that's my ringtone, uh, from an unrecognizable number, which I never answer, but what I do, and I wonder if you guys do this too, what's weird about that unrecognizable number is that usually it's from some weird ass small town somewhere in America, and uh, I've decided I'm going to compile a list of those and make a post on my suspended an animation website about it but let's just let me just punch this number in this is all happening live this was not planned at all just to make sure it's not like you know from someone i should immediately call like who has like a thousand has like a million dollars to give me um this can't be right no, well, there's a lot of, like, warning and spam reported on that number. Oh, there's also a gambling consultant firm listed as well who, that may or may not be attached to that, which I actually would be interested in. Um, so, anyway, uh, oh, yeah, well, that was my Walgreens reveal, and I guess I it's really anticlimactic to just end on that. I mean... I just have so many more stories I could tell about every single thing that I've mentioned. And I say that in every video. That's for another time. That's for another time. I mean, like, you know, it would take forever. Plus, this is 13 minutes now. Who wants to watch that? I need to learn how to make two-minute videos. Anyway, um, that's that's today's Walgreens reveal. Um, and, uh, oh, yeah, so you heard my ringtone, but and you heard the opening of Gary Daddy's and... <laughs> I'll go out on a little uh, Keep You by Fake Fruit on uh, Bagel Radio. <laughs>